Thank you so much. Let's bring in Republican Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy. Senator, great to see you. You listened to Jennifer's report. What's your reaction to that? Uh, I think it's wise that, the, one, I think it's wise the president showed restraint. I think it's wise that we are asking allies to send their ships to protect their shipping. The, uh, those open lanes are more important to them, frankly, than they are to us. And I think that the president's response so far has been both measured, but I think it'll be effective. President Trump told The Hill magazine that, quote, he does not need Congress's approval to bomb Iran. Is that true? It depends upon what provokes it. If it is an act of war, he can respond initially. I hope we do not go to war with Iran. If we do go to full war with Iran, he would clearly need congressional approval. Here's what President Trump said when asked today about his message to Iran. Let's listen. There is no message. You know, I'll tell you what the message is. When they're ready, they'll have to let us know. When they're ready, they'll let us know. Very simple. Ready to negotiate, you mean? Ready to do whatever. Doesn't make any difference. Whatever they want to do, I'm ready. So, Senator, what is the next step? You know, the president today is saying the U.S. would not need an exit strategy on Iran. What is the next step? The next step is for the Iranians to realize that it is in the interest of the Iranian people to negotiate with the United States of America. And if they wish to continue to provoke by uh, pursuing terrorism across the, uh, the region, by attempting to assassinate people around the world, or by returning to a nuclear development program, that is not the way to have peace. But if they become a good neighbor, then their economy can be restored and Iran's, uh, the Iranian people can enjoy the benefits. Switching gears, uh, Russia has warned the U.S. about the buildup of weapons in Europe say it is a, will be a repeat of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Senator, Russia just put one of its most advanced warships in Havana Harbor in Cuba. What's your reaction to that? I think the, resp the Russians respond to strength, and when there is no strength, they keep pushing. That's also, by the way, true of the Iranians. And so the degree to which we counter that presence in a way which is meaningful, in a way which would neutralize that ship, but also continue to deploy weapons um, uh, to counter any Russian threat to Eastern Europe, I think will be the most effective response. Sir, it's switching gears again. I'd love your reaction to this soundbite. From Home Depot co-founder Bernie Marcus, he talked to Neil Cavuto about the fight with China. Let's listen to this. Well, I have spoken to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> three manufacturers who are very slowly moving their stuff out. They're going to Vietnam, they're going yeah, to Thailand, out of, out of China, they're going right, to Singapore. Right. Very quietly, that, that business is leaving mm -hmm. China. China is going to be a loser in this one because they're not going to win. Uh -huh. I just hope the president has enough backbone, and I think he does, to stand on this. Wow, manufacturers pulling out of China. We've been covering that story. Your reaction to that, Senator? Yeah, I totally agree with Mr. Marcus. I, I, I see that the global supply chain is going to shift out of China, despite that big market there. And it's a response not just to their kind of predatory practices in terms of economic relationships, but also their clear desire to have surveillance uh, throughout the rest of the world. So the president obviously is addressing the intellectual property theft, their attempt to have surveillance around the world. And as a result of that, people are relocating their manufacturing. Um, we want to have good relationships with China, but China should do their part. I want to come back to Iran. Breaking news, Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Danone, said that Israel is absolutely ready to work with Arab nations, that's his quote, in the Middle East to counter Iranians and Iran's terrorism. Your reaction to that? I totally accept that. Clearly, the Iranians, have, excuse me, the Israelis have an incredible ability to uh, monitor uh, communications, uh, to do cyber attacks, and to monitor cyber activity. They can couple this with the Arab community's uh, own capabilities, and I think that is a classic example of the enemy, uh, you know, my, my enemy's enemy is my friend. The Iranians could make their life a lot better if they decided just to scale back. Senator Cassidy, we so appreciate you coming on with your insights, sir. Come back soon. Thank you. Coming up, Chicago.